What's up guys, Bart here from VIP Shop Management. It's been a while since I made a video. I t gave myself like 30 days, uh, I'm not saying a vacation, I don't go on vacations, but I gave myself a 30 days, um, uh, you know, not programming too much. And I gave you basically 30 days uh, to not get so many updates, but we are back. Um, uh, we want to get better. We're always going to get better. Um, that's what VIP is all about. Whatever we miss, uh, we're always going to add it. And the hardest thing about it is how can we add whatever we missed without messing with your, um, you know, way of doing things. Like, you know, everyone else don't care. You got to go to multiple menus to get things done. They don't care. We do care. So anyway, let me start with uh, some new stuff with myself on the side and see what's going on. We're going to create a new estimate real quick and walk through this. All right. Let's say the... Let's say Land Rover right here, create a new estimate. The first thing you're going to notice on the side right here, you're going to have the estimate number, enter mileage. You need you, Every time you create a new estimate, you need to go through these, right? First thing, enter mileage. You need the mileage, say 5,000 miles, confirm. You're going to see in and out right here to change it. Really simple. Don't freak out. Just click on it. Printing all chain stickers right here too, so don't freak out. It's right there. Um, the other thing is assigning the technician, you know, it's just assign the technician right here. It's all in one place. Basically. I like that. Um, is he staying with the vehicle or dropping it off? You can just click on it to switch back and forth. Uh, most of the time they don't want the old used parts, but if yes, just check this. Um, uh, and the labor rate, that's very important. We have six labor rates right now. Uh, you got to go to settings. Let's, let's go to settings real quick and check on that. Um, under a parse markup, we have six labor rate. You need to uh, go there and, and, and check each one of them because standard versus Euro um, versus fleet versus diesel versus custom, they're all different. Keep that in mind. All right. So make sure you, you come in here and update this and let's go back to our estimate right here. And I, I, notice this one on the side. Now it comes down and it doesn't leave. I mean, obviously you can you can collapse it and bring it back by clicking on the, on the side right here. Um, so it's not a big deal, but it's gonna stay. Why? Because we, we it has important information. So in this case, it's a Land Rover. Switch it to labor rate euro. Um, as you adding parts, let's go to our zone real quick and let's click and hold. Um, let's go get a. I don't know if we can get anything for this anyway. We can try um, maybe air filter. Mm -hmm. I guess let's type it. Filter, because it's 2024. I doubt we're gonna find anything. Okay, so we found this one right here. View quote and transfer. And see right there, it's it's the labor rate, the European labor rate, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's another option. If you notice uh, right there, the bars are ch they change basically the bars in the whole. If it's an estimate, it's different than if it's an invoice. If it's an invoice, it looks like that. Um, if it's an estimate, it looks like it's kind of cool. Why? Because um, it kind of reminds you like, oh, I'm in an estimate mode. Uh, they give it at one week and you will notice, oh, like I'm in an invoice mode, which is, which is uh, very important. Remember, it's an estimate. Once, in, uh, once it's authorized, it's an invoice. All right, let's go talk about more stuff. And let's say I want to add, let's do, let's, let's uh, add a, a different job. Let's say all chain, we're doing all change right here. Um, you notice it says fixed. How do I get this? If if an all change, you don't want to put your hourly rate and then put you can put just charge a flat rate, right? And how just click on on note like you can you can add fifty like uh, number, but if you want to make it fixed, just click on the quantity right here and add the dash. Basically, just put dash and it'll make it fixed. Instead of you know having a dash right there, we add it fixed instead. Um, if I want to add a note to this job and say, you know what, well, the oil was dark, that's fine. I can click on uh, right there and add note and just say oil was too dark, right? And click add. And it adds it right there. And this, remember, the note right here will print with the estimate and will print with the invoice and a quote. So if we look at this on the side right here, right there, perfect. 
All right, let's get some tires for this thing. Let's go to tire hub real quick to, I don't know, to 275, 45, 22. I'm not sure if that even exists. Searching. Okay, we found some. All right, let's add four tires. All right, so I assume if you notice right here, it says right now, oh, uh, is it completed or not? You see that? Um, you can obviously, if you click right there and, and check this box and assign the technician, it's going to show as completed. So it shows you how many hours, which is pretty cool. Um, but let's say, you know, I'm talking to the customer, I'm trying to sell him this job, and he says, well, how much without the tires? Because it's a lot of money here in this case. Yeah, I just click on this job, select the whole job right here, and we have a menu right there. Click on that, and then you can place on hold. Click on hold, place on hold. What happens? It's gonna give you the total. It's not gonna. It's gonna keep the job right here, and it's just gonna like you know kind of scratch it, and you know you can tell well it's 246 without it. Okay, all right, go ahead, and you know the subtotal of it is 1418 right there, right? If I click on it and resume see it brings it back how do I mark this job as completed really simple just click on that and menu mark as completed and it checks it right there and you're gonna see like four out of four hours so you can see each job how many hours it has and it's a lot easier now to mark jobs as completed so mark as completed done really simple so this is just uh, the beginning of uh, some cool stuff that we are gonna bring to VIP um, uh, just enjoy it. Let's get back to work. Thanks for watching.